good morning guys so today is the day i'm finally filming my 24 hour eating challenge now you guys requested this a couple of months back now and yeah i'm really excited i decided to go for like a theme because you guys know i love like this time of the year so i just thought i'd wait until halloween but yeah this video has been weeks in the making i actually started this video at the beginning of october but i had zero luck finding anything so i decided to wait a couple of weeks today is monday the 26th of october i will insert some clips on my struggles earlier in the month of me going out shopping and having zero luck i did find a few things but just not enough to last me 24 hours so i insert those clips now hi guys so it's a few days before now and i'm about to head off to asda to see if they've got any halloween bits in preparation for the challenge so i'm really curious to see what they have because obviously i don't know if halloween's going to be cancelled this year we're not allowed to go out with groups more than six at the moment so it's gonna be really interesting to see if halloween's gonna be a thing either way we're gonna get some food and see what we can find for like breakfast lunch and tea and yeah i'll see you guys at asda so we're in the halloween aisle now as you can see a lot of it is basically just like junk food so i don't know what we're gonna go for so i'm gonna get some of these halloween oreos as a snack some of these little halloween chocolates we get one of these kits two little bits there and i'm thinking i'll put my breakfast into one of these so we've just stopped off at Asda and it was pretty disappointing if I'm being honest but I don't really know what I was expecting especially with everything going on. Um, as you can see that I picked up a cup, picked up a bowl, picked up some plates and a few like Halloween themed snacks but I'm not overly, I'm not overly impressed with what I picked up so we're going to go to B&M's maybe tomorrow or Sunday and just see what they've got in there. I feel like it's just too early on in October to go looking for that stuff yet but we'll see how the weekend goes and see what we managed to pick up hi guys so it's a couple of days later since i filmed the as the trip that we did we are it's sunday today basically and we are on our way to b&m just to see what kind of bits they have for halloween i still need to get some cutlery i still need to get some main course meals in because all i have at the moment is biscuits chocolate and um a diy baking kit so that's not going to get me very far for 24 hours so i'm going to try and see if i can get some meal bits put together in b&m because i feel like that's a good place to go b&m is quite creative and quite seasonal so yeah we're going to be going to b&m why would you do that problems on the road so yeah we're pretty much almost there now so i'll catch up you guys in the store and show you guys around the halloween section if i can um so yeah see you in there so this is the current halloween section it's literally as soon as you come in through the main door so right in your face we've got a few bits and bobs here i don't feel like they're going to be vegan so it's gonna be quite hard to find something that i can actually eat so guys we have just came out from b&m it's absolutely pouring down so i've tucked my hair into my jacket hence why i look like a boy um but yeah b&m what an absolute disappointment there's actually nowhere that has like halloween themed food i really don't know what else to do so yeah as you've seen there it was really really hard to find stuff available at that time of the year so i've decided to wait till this week of october to go out and find some more stuff i am really hungry and normally have my breakfast as soon as i get up in the morning but obviously i haven't been able to do that because i need to go out and find it so yeah we're gonna head off to marks and spencers see what they have there in store and i'll catch up with you guys there these are really cute look at these oh my god so much food here honestly i'm like living my best life <laughs> not gonna lie marks and spencers are absolutely killing it for the halloween stuff i've got a full basket so we're gonna head off to the till now and get back to the car so it's actually 10 o'clock now and i still haven't had my breakfast yet but i am now going to aldi because i realized i don't actually have any halloween drinks now i'm thinking cherry aid cranberry juice anything red and bloody because i feel like there's not going to be many like halloween themed drinks out there so i'm going to kind of go with that theme and eventually i will get there i will get my breakfast that i'm just so craving right now so yeah let's go i'm about to prepare my breakfast i don't really know what to have because i don't really have like a lot of meal type of stuff but i feel like on halloween it's got to be treats all around hasn't it so for my breakfast i've decided to go for one of these crispy creme donuts i bought a pack of three i've got the wolfie frankie and the vampy so three of these were five pounds 25 basically just going to mix and match a couple of things together got my cranberry juice as well from aldi so i'm gonna have that i've never actually tried it before fun facts okay so what i am gonna do is i'm gonna try and add a little bit of you know fruit into this so i've got this orange here and a black icing pen and what we're gonna do is try and draw on a pumpkin don't know how well it's gonna go with me holding the camera but we will see just going to draw on two eyes 
Not very scary, is it? <laughs> is that all right? I don't know. <laughs> Looks really weird. But yeah, that is my, um, oh my God, it's dripping everywhere. That is my attempt on making some kind of fruit Halloween pumpkin type of thing. Absolute fail, but we'll go with it. So yeah, this is my breakfast. I've got my blood orange cranberry juice here. I've got my Frankie Krispy Kreme donut. Cannot wait for this. I'm super hungry. I've got my Marks and Spencer's Franken Colin Caterpillar cake. One of these little mini loaves and then my failure of a orange pumpkin. So that's my breakfast. I know it's not really ideal, but it's Halloween. We're gonna go with it. We're gonna enjoy it. So really looking forward to trying this. So glad to finally be eating my breakfast. I've got my little friend here in the background who'll be joining me as I eat my food because I just feel like you need to have some kind of demon in the background, you know, especially Halloween. I'm gonna show you guys a first impressions of me drinking cranberry juice because I've never actually tried it before. So let's see what it's like. Do you know what? That is surprisingly nice. Really nice. I really, really like that. It's kind of like like a black currant type of taste. Hmm. So let's try the M&S caterpillar cake. Mm. So good. You've got to love a classic mini roll. They're just amazing. I'm going to try the Frankie Krispy Kreme donut. I'm really, really excited for this. Mmm. Mmm. Got like a chocolate filling in this one. So good. Hi guys, so it's now lunchtime and I've been sat on the sofa watching Harry Potter for the past couple of hours and I've been wondering what to actually make for lunch because I've got my pizza for later but I don't actually have anything that I've bought for lunch in particular so what I've actually decided to do is get this little skull thing which I picked up last year on Halloween and I'm gonna make like a vegan bolognese brain type of thing I'm gonna put it in here like serve it up in the skull head and I feel like that's gonna be really cool really different and a little bit of home cooking there for you as well because I feel like my breakfast was a little bit of a letdown so hopefully this one is a good one by the way my lighting in my kitchen is absolutely terrible so I don't really know where I'm gonna put you guys maybe up here so you guys can see what I'm doing so for the bolognese I'm gonna be taking the corn mince meat like this it's a vegetarian dish and then I'm gonna be using some long spaghetti like this to create like a sloppy brain type of look and then I've also got some tomato bolognese sauce as well in my cupboard which we picked up on our Aldi shop yesterday this is what it looks like so I'm gonna put it in the skull present it like a brain type of thing and I feel like that'd be really fun and kind of like budget friendly as well so one ingredient which I've been really loving lately excuse the kettle I've got it on ready for the pasta is the pesto alla you know pasta pesto type of thing this one's from Aldi as well and what I do is I add a spoonful of this into the spaghetti and it kind of makes it like a green type of color so with the bolognese you just want to pour it all over the mince and just kind of let it simmer together. I'm no Gordon Ramsay or Master Chef. I'm just using a wooden spoon to mix that all together. So I've got my hot water for the pasta. Just makes it cook a lot more quicker. Just taking a handful of pasta and just popping that into my saucepan. And if there's any leftover, I'm gonna make this ready for my work meal tomorrow. So that is the plan. This is almost ready. This doesn't take that long at all. You literally just simmer it for around 10 minutes and it's like pretty much done. So really easy dish to make. And then for my drink for lunch today, I'm taking the blood orange Italian style soda, which looks a little bit like this. So yeah, let's see how this looks. It doesn't really have a smell. Should I taste it now? Let's try it. Hmm. So that is surprisingly really nice. So that is basically a orange lemonade, but it's not as strong as orange. It's kind of like a weakened down orange, if you know what I mean. Okay, so as the bolognese is cooking, we're gonna make a start on these Witch's Fingers biscuit kit. So I'm gonna show you guys what's actually inside this package. I think this is actually two pounds at Asda. We've got the actual biscuit kit here. We've got some chocolate buttons here, which I'm guessing you melt down to make the nail. And then we've got some red food color in here as well. So all we need to do is get some butter. So I'm just weighing out the butter using my flora. And then I've got my mixing bowl here as well. So you just pour the mixture into a bowl and then we have the butter. So we're just gonna give this a little mix. As you can see, it's kind of all sticking together now. Okay, so the next step, now that we've made our dough, 
is to get some flour and roll out the mixture into six like sausage shapes to create the fingers. I'm going to take my dough. It is a little bit runny. It doesn't feel that nice, I'm not going to lie. I don't know if it's going to create that texture. Is it a little bit too runny? Mm. So we're going to roll it in the flour. I don't know, I feel like this is going to be a massive fail. <laughs> But I do try and make an effort, you know? I do try. That's what I cannot say I don't do. It's kind of getting there. I feel like the flour is thickening it up a little bit. So I've got one sausage finger there ready to put on my baking tray. So I'm just going to head off and do that. Okay, so that's one down. Five more to go. So I can't tell if that was a complete mess or not. But this is the mess that I've currently made. I've literally used like half a bag of flour. So these are my witch's fingers. They're all really uneven shapes and sizes. But we're interested to see how it looks and how it turns out. So into the oven they go. I think they go in for around eight minutes. The bolognese is looking really good, so I'm going to take that off as well. So I'm going to take some spaghetti and pour it into this bolognese mix and kind of mix it all together to create like a noodle brain type of thing. So this is my trick or treat skull brain bolognese. Now, as you can see, it didn't quite fill up the skull head because this is actually quite big. I've got my little drink here, I've got my skull. So let's do a little taste test on the brain. <laughs> really good really sloppy but really good so i'm gonna finish off the rest of my spaghetti brain watching harry potter so for a few snacks i have got a few pieces which i picked up from marks and spencers this morning so i'm gonna be snacking and tucking into these fizzy wizzy wings these are actually vegan friendly and then we've got these oozing skulls as well these ones are vegetarian friendly so i've got those and then i've also got the vampire fang extra cheesy snack crisp type of thing guess they don't like a little bit like what's it so let's open these ones what are they spicy no they're just extra cheesy so this is what they look like oh my god they're super cute so like little fangs oh my god i'm really, really excited to try these so i love these i'm actually going to pour myself a little dare to scare bowls worth of uh, those because they're really good and then for the sweets let's see what these look like so this is what they look like little skulls so let's give these a try mm, i can see the little oozy bit in the middle there really nice i'm so happy that marks and spencers do vegetarian options like game changer so onto these these are the fizzy wizzy wings these are actually a black currant and cola flavor so sour they'll send you batty apparently hopefully they're actually really sour because it's really hard to find really good vegan sour sweets this is what they look like i don't know if you can see that but they're like little tiny bat wings really nice these are really really good not as sour as they make it out to be kind of like a nice fizzy tangy kind of texture and flavor the black currant and cola go together so well like really really nice flavors so yeah i'll catch up with you guys in a little bit i feel like all i'm doing is sitting and eating today so my shortbread fingers are here i've actually already created the chocolate nails all you need to do is put the stencil underneath and then melt the chocolate and then pipe it into these sort of shapes they don't look perfect but they'll do we're gonna try and decorate it i have changed into this black jumper by the way because i was getting really really hot i had like a double layer on and i've just had a quick outfit change so that's the reason why i've got different clothes on i'll bend down for you guys so you can see so with this little red icing pen you kind of want to recreate blood um but we also need to stick the nails onto the shortbread using this so what you need to do and what i should have done is press down here to kind of create a little slot for the chocolates to go on don't know what the hand actions are about there i'm just going to put them on as best as i can because obviously i didn't read that step on the paper very well so yeah luckily these have dried so what you need to do is just basically pop them on top like that so this is what we're trying to achieve here so this is the kind of effect you're looking to achieve so that is one out of the way we're now going to skip through and do the rest so this is the overall finished effect on these witch's fingernail shortbread biscuits they do look really dry but we're gonna give them a little taste because obviously they may taste better than they look you don't ever know so i'm going to offer one of these biscuits to josh because he's just come back from work it's tomato ketchup i ain't ketchup try it and you'll uh, find no, out no, no, that's disgusting you'll try it <laughs> no i can't but we'll try it together then it's not tomato ketchup by the way i was joking They're not that bad. <laughs> They're actually really good. 
So for supper tonight, I've decided to go for the Eerie Eyeball Pizza from Marks and Spencers, which I picked up earlier. I've just put the oven on to preheat. So basically, I managed to pick up three for £10. So I've got this Eyeball Pizza, the cauliflower popcorn with the smoky barbecue sauce there. And then for dessert, we've got this vegan brain jelly, which I'm really, really looking forward to. This together just looks super, super cool, especially this. And the fact that this is vegan is just amazing. It blows my mind literally so we're gonna stick it on now and see what it looks like when it's all done so the food's done now so we can tuck into our pizza watch a nice film together hopefully it's gonna be a nice pizza i've never tried an olive before so i'm gonna do it for you guys in this video so now i'm actually on the fourth harry potter film i don't know how i've managed that to be honest with you i have no idea what it's about or what's going on i'm gonna try the eyeball pizza crunchy it's like crunchy texture but i don't think it had much taste maybe because i kind of folded it like that you can kind of mask the taste of it i guess let's try the um cauliflower popcorn just dipping it in some red sauce for that blood effect really soft not really that spicy though I'm starting to look a little bit tired now i actually did a 12 hour shift yesterday at work so how i've managed to pull today off i don't know I am starting to feel more and more tired as the afternoon goes on. But anyways, we are now moving on to our dessert. So we are going in with the petrifying popping candy jelly brain. I just feel like this is just the best thing ever. Like how cool is this? So we're going to dish this out and see what it looks like. See what it tastes like because it's got like loads of popping candy stuff. Hopefully it's a jelly and not like a giant sweet because that would be really disappointing. <gasps> Oh my god, we've actually got like jam in here, so it kind of looks like blood. That's really cool. Oh, I see. So we've actually got the jelly here. We've got some raspberry like jam type of thing. And we've also got the popping candy, so you can actually add this in if you want to. So the jelly itself is actually an apple flavour, which is really refreshing. Let's try and flip this over. Okay, here goes nothing. Like that, oh my god, it's super cool. I love it. And another cool thing is you could probably wash this out and reuse this and create your own little jelly mold out of it. So that is the plan, I'm gonna keep that. So just cut open the sachet and pour the raspberry blood all over it. This is super cool. Now it's time for the popping candy. Oh, we can hear it cracking already. So this is the completed popping candy jelly brain. Can you hear that? Oh, it's really cracking now. Like the more I'm carving into it, the more sound it's making. It's like activating it. It's really weird. So Josh wasn't a fan, so I'm gonna try it. See how it goes. Oh my God. I'm really excited. That had jelly in ages. Mmm. Yeah. That tastes really nice. Oh no, I see what you mean. Like the whole mouth is like popping. That raspberry on there is actually really nice. Okay, so as it turns out, I didn't have time to film an outro for this video. My camera battery actually died on the day, so the last couple of clips were a little bit poor. I was completely knackered by them the day, as you can tell. So yeah, I'm just going to sum this video up. I had a really fun time experimenting with all different Halloween types of food. However, there was a massive side effect. I had a massive sugar crash. Like, I was so tired, I was weak. I went to bed at 9 o'clock that day, and honestly, I do not recommend eating that amount of sugar, that amount of food in one day. It's just not good for you. I don't know why but it feels like my face was kind of swollen as well I don't know if that's my own perspective but it just felt like everything about my face as the day went on just like changed a little way I don't know why maybe it's the lighting maybe it's the food I don't know but anyway this challenge was super fun to do let me know 